Greetings Laddingtons, I wanted to prove a point and the point I wanted to prove is that it's okay to be a beginner. Now I posted recently, as you probably have seen already, I posted a few paintings to social media. Now before I began to paint my first painting I said no matter how it turns out I will post this to social media to make myself accountable and to prove a point. So I did it to show to you that it's okay to not be good in the beginning. Now of course, yeah, I can honestly say I'm not overly happy with it and uh, yeah, we can all say it's not a particularly nice painting. My second, third and fourth are all paintings that I am satisfied with. And that's ultimately my point here as well, that it should be satisfying to you. So basically what I did was I set a starting point, which is my first painting. Then I said to myself, okay, I need to learn, improve. That's the starting point. So whenever you undertake something, don't expect anything to be perfect in the first place. And I know this is quite common for guys who go into the gym. They want everything to be 100% perfect before they start, but it's a faulty attitude because you will learn a lot as you go. So you have to start first and then you learn as you progress. So don't fall for the paralysis by analysis. It's more common than you think. So basically, I also I have a good friend who's an artist. I painted with him and he said just just do something don't think too much just uh, just paint and then you will learn so the initial key then is to just get you know familiar with the brushes with the paints with the canvas with the procedure now to translate this into a gym metaphor uh, I get acquainted with the barbell with the gym itself with the routines how it feels then you can add on additional knowledge to your quest. Now also I want to give a shout out to everyone who commented nice things on my social media posts, especially on the first one who said, you know, this is a good first attempt. This also shows something I have said on numerous occasions, that I have a very good fan base, because many of you, you understood why I posted it. I didn't post it as a first painting to show, oh, how great this result is. I posted it as to mark this is my starting point this is where I start now I know what to improve on for coming paintings same thing for you I've said this before when it comes to posting physique it's not about showing how oh, I have the perfect physique right now it's about the journey it's about you can show that you have progressed you've done something better for next time now to give yet another example we can talk about martial arts of course you might feel that you are completely out of out of your elements if you go into grapple or to box or whatever it might be then again no one expects you to be good on your first session it might look completely ridiculous as you try to figure out the footwork and the head movement or whatever it's supposed to look bad in the beginning and no one will fault you for it just as my painting here wasn't perfect it's fine everyone understands that's where you begin now it might sound really obvious everything i'm saying here but i see it too often that guys are too afraid to start too afraid to get out of their comfort zone so for example if you are a a naturally skinny guy and you say you know the gym isn't for me because I am not about that or whatever you're missing out on a whole host of health benefits which are too many to cover in a video there are entire channels only dedicated to listing health benefits that you get from the gym uh, and I don't want you to miss out on that because you think that oh uh, I look so skinny, I go into the gym and I see all of these jacked guys. You shouldn't compare yourself to those, just as I don't compare myself to Michelangelo when I paint. I just paint because it brings me satisfaction and it's a nice thing to do. 
it brings me joy to my soul. So that's something to keep in mind as well, that you don't always need to compare yourself to others, you don't need to feel like people are watching and judging you, they might judge you to a certain extent, but usually people care mostly about themselves. And as I mentioned in a recent video, as long as you conduct yourself in a polite and friendly manner, it's all good. Now, something else I thought to mention is that I see a lot of guys who are good at something, they are reluctant to try out new things because they don't want to be a beginner again. They don't want to, they want to be a big fish in a small pond. It can be comfortable of course, but it can also limit your growth if you think that way. So if you are the strongest guy in the gym, you are hesitant to try out martial arts because perhaps you will get mugged by someone in, in grappling or whatever. Then you have to leave your ego at the door and acknowledge the fact that yeah, now I am a beginner again and that's completely fine. It's okay to be a beginner if you progress and improve yourself. That's also our main point here is that I'm not saying it's okay to be bad. I'm saying it's okay to be bad at the first time. So my painting, I did, I wouldn't have wanted any good comments if I said I will leave it at this, this is okay. It's only okay because it was my first painting. It wouldn't be okay if it was my second or third because then I would be complacent, I wouldn't be dedicated to bettering myself. So that's, um, so that's very important for me to point out, so I'm not saying that you're good the way you are, your art is good the way it is, um, your physique is good the way it is, I'm not saying any of that, I'm saying that you must begin somewhere and the beginning doesn't need to be perfect as long as you have that as a starting point and from there you continue to go forward. So again, whatever you do, start and then once you've started you will have a ton of questions which will be answered along the way because it will become more natural for you to um, yeah, learn these things as you go. So just as I start with a painting, I learn, I get familiar with the brushes, with the paints, with everything, then I learn and then I can be better. Same thing for you and uh, yeah, I hope I showed that I wasn't afraid to post to the world a less than aesthetically pleasing painting. I did it to prove a point and uh, of course now I, um, yeah, it feels really fun to paint so I will continue to do it. Good times, good times. So anyway, thank you for watching. If you haven't read Dauntless already, do so. First link in the description box below. XXO, boom!